for I. As he buns our bloke. G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is a pretty cool day. Um, we're going to be getting my first ever tree ready for a display in a show. Yeah. So it's going to be the first time I've ever displayed a tree. So that'll be something different for me. So a little while ago, I pretty much got some moss ready for it, but we'll have a look at that after. But it's going to be a fairly long video. I'm going to work on this tree, work on trimming it, but try really hard to do a good job with the trimming. Make it look nice, not take too much off because is this tree really ready to display? Not really. It's not really advanced enough, not mature enough. Trunk certainly is. Branch structure, well, if you go back and have a look, it's probably only been a year and a half since I started doing the Mali style. So a year and a half, a lot of this branch structure. Obviously, the stuff that has the bark on it, you know, it's been a lot longer than a year and a half, but the, you know, the foliage wise, year and a half, creating the pads. If you look back to a couple of old videos, um, I'll try and link one, but just search it up and you'll see that this has actually come a long way in a year and a half. Not quite mature enough for a show, but it's going into a show anyway, and why not, you know? I'm just too eager to show it, so here we go. We're going to work on it, and we're going to show it in its first show, or my first show. <laughs> um, there's no real, I don't think there's any real competitions, it doesn't really matter, you know, just something for the public to see. So yeah, anyway, um, let's get to trimming it. So. I had a couple of thoughts about trimming it, whether I should do it two days before the show or do it now and the show's in two weeks time. I couldn't quite work out what I wanted to do, but then I thought, you know what? I wanna hopefully have some nice fresh new shoots just starting to poke the head out when the show comes along so that it looks nice and healthy. If I cut it all back the day before, It'll have all these cut off shoots with nothing healthy trying to grow out. So I thought we could do it now. Till it's time. Um, hopefully it's got some buds. So yeah, anyway, it's all new to me. And are any of my trees really good enough to show in a proper show? Probably not, but this is like a fun show for the public and for the club just to show their trees. And anyway, bit of fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to redefine all the <coughs> foliage layers. So this is what I did in the Mali style, Malaluca. I don't know whether it's a Malaluca decussata or something like that. It gets a pur little purple, um, like a honey myrtle flower on it, but a purple one. So who knows? But I'm going to have a bit of fun trimming this thing and. Let's get into it. So, doing it in the Mali style, it looks like we've got a layer down here. Another layer of foliage through here. Another one through that section there. Another one here, there, and then a final one at the top. So we've got one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six layers. So we'll start at the bottom layer, I guess, and work our way up. Like I say, I want to try and keep as much foliage as I can, but at the end of the day, we've still got to cut back to that layer. So that's something I'm going to have to do. So let's just do that, get that done. Um, all right, so yeah, you just grab a, grab a clump, I'll just do it like I normally do it, you know, I won't do anything different and just see what happens. Grab a clump, chop the tips and sort of round, round the scissors off at the ends. And then hopefully, when I let it all go, it creates a bit of a rounded pad, which I think it is. Create 
little rounded pads within the pads. And like I've said before, anything thin gets cut down here. Anything thick or thick enough to get to the next level, like this little guy in here, anything thick enough to get to the next level is allowed to get up to the next level. Let's so come around here. So yeah, I'm slightly nervous because if I stuff this trimming up, normally it wouldn't matter, you know, I'd just put it back on the bench, wait a couple months, fine. You know, I've stuffed the trimming up and a couple months later, you wouldn't even know. But today is serious because if I stuff it up, either I show it stuffed up or I just have to ring up the organizer <laughs> and say, uh, gonna be a tree down because I just trimmed up this guy hoping it would be something decent and I wrecked it so sorry but can't shop because you know at the end of the day if I show something too horrible it's also uh, an embarrassing thing to show something too horrible as well I want it to look half decent for the show I know that it's not quite quite there yet but you still want to look half decent you don't want something really really ugly do you Okay, so there we go. Let's sort of that layer done. Is that all on that layer? I think it is. Just the one lot. So we've got this hanging branch here. Right, okay, so I'm going to clean up a little bit of the negative space this time. In the past, when I've done this style, I haven't cleaned up the negative space. I've left wispy stuff in between. But I'm going to clean up the negative space. Just touching my finger on branches in there. I can see the branch move, but I can't feel it because my finger is just so weird. Not being able to feel your finger. Right, let's uh, cut through this next layer. This one here is super healthy on this side. The whole tree is actually super healthy. If you remember, I repotted it last video. Right, let's just trim up here. And I'll probably try and keep you guys live for most of this. I do have to apologise to you. I've been... In the longer videos, I've just been letting YouTube do its own automatic mid-roll ads. And I'm not a big fan of mid-roll ads myself. And I have to really apologise because I looked... I had a look in the in the YouTube studio and had a good look at how many ads you guys were getting and it was bloody ridiculous I thought okay they might put one or two ads in a whole middle of a video but in a half hour video I counted 11 ads that they put in which is ridiculous and I had no idea guys so I'm really sorry I had to listen to that many ads one or two would have been okay but the auto Ad roll placement, they literally put one in every five minutes and you can't adjust it unless you manually go in there and manually just put one ad in the middle which is a lot more effort. So from now on guys, either I'm going to manually just do one single ad in the middle of a long video or I'm just going to turn it right off and have no mid roll ads. So I'm really sorry for that. And I can understand why a lot of people would have switched off and not watched the whole video because that's bloody ridiculous. Every five minutes, you just get into it, bang, another ad. Just get into it, bang, another ad. Absolute pain in the ass. So, guys, seriously, sincerely sorry about that. Um, I won't put any mid row ads in, but feel free to watch at least the first ad. <laughs> Right, so there you go. Super simple, quick and easy way of doing things. Whether or not anyone else will approve. That'll be an interesting thing actually to take this to the show and see if anyone else approves of this tree with the weird techniques I've got going on or whether anyone stops to look at it or whether they just look at it like, wow, what the heck's that bloke thinking, you know? So like I say, this is still in its early stages and I would love, 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 like some of you have mentioned, to get 
one or two of my Mali styles to a really refined state. At the moment, this new style that I'm trying out, I haven't, with this easy clipping technique, I haven't got any to a refined state yet, because I've only really done it, like I say, a year and a half. And because you guys haven't seen any at a refined state, there's, there'd be definitely peop, there definitely would be people out there second guessing my style and my method. And I don't blame them because without being able to show a finished result, you know, I could just be wrecking my trees and if someone copies me, they could be wrecking their trees. So, you know, I really want to get one to refine state. So then you guys can see whether or not it's at your taste, and whether or not you guys would wanna, or girls or whoever, you know, would wanna try and replicate one for yourself or two for yourself, or whether it's gonna be a main thing in your collection. For me, I feel like it will be a main thing in my collection. I'm not really doubting this style at all. I'm actually thinking this style has got some legs and this style is gonna spread its way across, I reckon in the long term, at least a fifth to a quarter of my collection in the long term will be this type of style. Because I'm just loving how things turn out and how bloody simple it is to do. And if you're worried about the structure in there and you really wanna clean it out, there is no reason why after you've finished all these pads and levels, there's no reason why you couldn't just go in there and clean them out to twos and inside growth, clean it out, you know. You can do that still. And today, I will be doing that down low where we don't want to see any wispy, weird growth hanging in. And I might even strip off some leaves like here, a few leaves hanging down. Might strip some leaves off. Just make sure I just had a weird feeling that I haven't been recording this whole time. Damn it, I haven't been. No, I have. <laughs> oh, wonder. Hmm, okay. It's a lot. Oops. A bit light. This one light might be causing it to overexpose a little bit. Is that better? Ah, uh, we'll just deal with it, but yeah, I feel like it's slightly overexposed. Anyway, that's what happens when you film on a camera. Now, we got this one done. Okay, I'm going to do the negative space later. I'm not going to fuss around with that right now. And we can sort that out in a minute. Right, so let's get to the next level. Like you've seen in the past, I'm normally a lot faster at doing this. I just really want to make sure I don't stuff it up and wreck this tree for the show. You can see this spring growth already on this tree has gone nuts. I've literally been fertilizing with Thrive all-purpose fertilizer in the powder that you mix up. It comes in a yellow powder from Bunnings, $17 for a, enough to make 1,500 litres. And anyway, I've been fertilizing everything at double recommended strength once a week for the last five weeks. And I tell you what, a lot of my trees are really powering on. As you can expect, they're either gonna power on or they're gonna burn off. So far, they've been powering on. Don't fuss around inside the pad sand. That's not what the aim is right now. Okay. So I'm aiming to go flat across, but each pad is a bit like a cloud or a parachute, like a flattish 
but round parachute. Okay, that'll be the aim. Not dead flat, a little bit round, a little bit round. Sounds like the dogs are barking because the wife's coming. So I might have to leave you guys for a couple minutes. Just have a bit of a debrief with the wife after a day of work. Like I say, I'm not going to rush this. This is not a job you want to rush, especially for a show. Um, and fun guy is not something we want to rush as, am <coughs> as amateurs or I call myself a shed hack. As a shed hack, it's not something that I want to rush anyway. It's something that I want to take time with and have fun because that's why we're doing bonsai. We're not doing it to try and rush and get through it. We're literally doing it for a bit of fun, a bit of relaxation, meditation, whatever you want to call it. And I'm really going to work my way slowly through this whole tree today. And I hope to post the whole lot for you guys. So there you go, a whole pad squashed together, we let it go. Trim the edges a little bit harder than the middle. See what we got. Bang! Pretty good, pretty good. Right, I'm just gonna go and have a bit of a debrief with the wife. Yeah, I'll see you in a minute. All right, guys, what a pisser. Me, um, <laughs> me, um, camera, I either got to turn it on or it turned off, I don't know. Really sorry, guys, you must have missed out on a fair bit of the chop on the top. But basically, I just followed what I did at the bottom. Chop the top. You can see the top is not as developed as the bottom now because that's newer growth and hasn't been finished off yet. In the future, we will be chopping away to more movement and possibly as things like this little guy here take over. We'll be chopping that off there and creating a little bit more movement up the top. The other branches are not bad. They all have some movement somewhere and some branches dividing. So I'm pretty happy with them. Um, there's a couple of weird ones hanging out the side here. I could chop it right off here. But I don't know, these weird ones that come out and then go up, I don't hate them, I don't hate them, it seems to be what happens, you have a look over here, look, weird ones come out and gone up, come out, gone up, the one's got some lights, gone up, so it must be a natural thing, like I say, I don't hate it. So that's pretty much the top pad trimming. I'll just go in and just fix up a couple little bits, but mostly it's pretty good. Now, next job will be to, I just want to make sure it's recording again. I don't know what happened. Yeah, it's still recording. I might have to delete some videos. Okay. Um, so next job now, is any wispy stuff in the middle like this one here that's just hanging around doing nothing i'm just going to reach in there and just chop them off and just clean up the negative space we want to create reasonable division between the negative negative space and the structure but having said that if there's a bare area where some of the structure from a bottom pad would benefit going up into another pad up higher and there's a few wispy things hanging up I'm going to leave them hanging up um, to benefit the overall tree in the long run I'm not going to go ahead and just cut them off now it'll look better in the short run if I cut them all off now some wispy stuff growing 
through another pad which is going to reach another level or one like this that's wispy and sort of hanging down better off letting that grow and get to the next pad level for the future development of the tree and that's what I mean by this thing's a little bit immature to show but I'm a fairly impatient man and I do want to show something so we're just going to anything that's obviously hanging down wispy and never going to be used I'm just going to get rid of but stuff that I think will eventually, could eventually become part of the tree that's wispy, we're going to leave. So I hope that makes sense. Bad wispy we lose, good wispy we keep. <laughs> makes no sense, Sam, makes no sense. Okay, so we just want to clean up. Like I say, another thing we could do is strip off a few leaves along a branch so that we can make the negative space look better. So here's a prime example, little baby shoot but it's growing up into the next canopy and eventually when it gets there it's gonna, this little shoot is gonna make the overall higher canopy, the structure going up into it is gonna look better by leaving that one. So that one's gonna stay for now and forever. It'll become part of the next level. So I'm probably not going to bore you with this because I'm just going to go through and just clean up weird wispies and keep the good wispies. So weird wispies that I don't think I can use that just cross over the whole. So that one there come off from this side and went across everything and completely had no place in the whole thing. That one's gone. A lot of the inside wispies in here will go. I just feel like opening up the inside so that you can see through the very inside of the tree. Opening that up is not going to affect the overall tree in the end. So we'll get rid of all these wispies. And I'll get to you in the end after all that. And hopefully we'll have something that is starting to look half decent. Cheers. Hey guys, welcome back. Well, I might have to tap this clock down. I've been on it for a good couple of hours. Because the clock sort of hides the outlook of the tree a bit. Right, so there you go. We did the top. I lost a bit of filming as I finished the top. Cleaned out a lot of the negative space so that we can actually see. Pretty decent divisions and branch structure between everything. Um, pretty happy with it. Obviously the top's still a bit juvenile, but bad luck, that's just how it's gonna be. It's beginning stages. Um, give it another couple of years and this tree is gonna be super filled in and really, really cool. I hope, and I hope it'll be a really nice refined one that people can Uses a bit of a reference to the Mallee Star. But yeah, pretty happy with it. Still pretty well. Um, one thing I will say is by getting rid of a lot of the foliage and making more negative space and being able to see more branch structure or trunk structure, branch structure, whatever you want to call it, also makes the tree look older and bigger while still keeping the elegance of the tall tree, it certainly does make it look older and bigger and more gnarly by being able to see that. You can see the original parts of the tree up to about here have got decent bark. And then from here up, only this one over here is starting to get some good bark. The rest, maybe up to here. Still a bit to go, but anyway, so like I say, it's a little bit immature, probably not ready to show, but I'm super keen, super keen. Right, so now what are we gonna do? We're just gonna, well, I did the moss a while back. So I've cleaned up the surface with the air compressor pretty well. Still got time to pick little bits off because like I say, the show is two weeks away. And just a couple of these, I collected some um, rock fern 
on my property. I've actually got thousands and thousands of rock fern on my property. And I'm just cutting off the ones that have died off. The ones that are still green, I'm going to leave. And hopefully, yeah, if I look down the bottom of this rock fern, it's actually got some new ones starting to come out. So I think it might have survived its transplant from when I collected it. So that's pretty cool. I didn't know whether they would survive. Did it as an experiment. Planted it in here. Put a bit of nice light green moss around it. And, you know, it's starting to fell back out. That's pretty cool. Right. Now what are we going to do? Well, let's get... Oh, a little bit of Irish moss out. Like I say, it's not going to be judged, doesn't really matter. Only the public have a good look at it. Right. Hopefully they'll be forgiving. So, let's look at how we're going to display it. I did make up a little bit of fun. I thought I'd have a bit of fun with this. So, So, right here, we've made ourselves up an outdoor dunny. So, I thought, a bit of fun, why not go for the old outdoor dunny? Put this back in here, pack the towel, the towel, the toilet roll holder, put that back in there, flog that from the daughter's Sylvanian collection. Then I thought we could get maybe a Sylvanian. I'll show you a close up of this in a minute. So you're going to have the outdoor bog hole. Outdoor bog hole. <laughs> uh, rather than doing it, you know, a normal accent, I'm going to do a bog hole. Let's put this guy on the toilet. Toilet seat up, put him on the toilet, Mr. Squirrel. <laughs> He's on the toilet. <laughs> but luckily, the daughter had some Sylvanians. Hey, so we're going to put him on the toilet, put him in the back. Toilet roll, everything in there, ready to go. Right. And I thought while he's on the toilet, okay, we could maybe flog this from the sun off his remote control car. I thought maybe, maybe. Oh, we got three rabbits at the front here. One, two, three. I got the budgie in the tree up here, and I thought what we could do is let's do a good old tire swing. I don't know if anyone, when, when they were a kid, hopped in one of these and got someone to twist up the rope or the chain like mad, and then you just hop on and wait till it untwists, and by the time you get off, you're ready to throw up. We certainly did that as kids, so, you know, for little kids, it'll hopefully be cool for them to see at the show. And for older kids like me, it might bring back memories, you never know. So, I thought what we could do is we could chuck him around the tree up here. Oh man, I've got a thread hanging. Chuck them around there. Let's do a loop around about there. That's fine. Up in the air there. Let's do a loop. Put him around the tree. Then I can just put him on when he's ready to go in the show. Good old tie 
ice queen sitting there. Pretty cool. Got the budgie up above the tire swing. Fairly big budgie compared to the tire, but bad luck. Pretty cool. So there's your tire. And then I thought, you know, is that too much? Well, actually, because the tree is coming this way, I should really have the tree on that side. Oh, well, for now, I might change it, but for now, I'll just leave it like that. The issue is the door is swinging the wrong way. I'm probably going to have to put the latches on the other side and have it swing this way. No biggie. I'll just have to change it because it's probably look a bit funny if the door is swinging towards the tree and it sort of looks like it's blocked. It would be better if it opened up the other way and had it so that you could... See there, right, <clears throat> so let's put him maybe like that somewhere. Right, and then, I don't know, I thought we get, get something else out here. Maybe have, I don't know. Maybe couch. Another bloke. Matt Hippo. Just chilling on the couch as well. Maybe a. Well, I don't think you could put anyone on the swing. I don't know. Surveying, but I suppose we could. Swinging around there, looks a bit uncomfortable. Maybe we'll put someone standing up washing their hands in here rather than on the toilet. Then you can see the toilet properly, and then I can save the dude with the legs for the couch. And maybe put one underneath here, looking at what's going on with the swing. Or maybe standing here ready to catch. Whoops. Ready to catch that one when it falls. So you've got one plant there, one plant there, bird in the tree, some rabbits at the front. Couch there, someone in the toilet. I'm going to change the door to the other side. Maybe that could be a display, who knows? Not sure. Or else, I've even got table and chairs I could set up. As if you're having a bit of a picnic. And a bit of lawn, if I wanted a bit of lawn. But I think that could be getting a bit much. Maybe I'll save that for another tree. Because otherwise we might be getting a bit much if we set all that up. Could be getting a bit much. All right, maybe we'll leave it at that. A couch, a swing and a toilet. And, you know, something for the little kids to look at, you know. Be good for the little kids to see something going on as well. Maybe a bit of pumpkin growing around the side there. Do I put a bit of lawn? No, nah, don't need it. Probably don't need a pumpkin either. Maybe I could have that sort of hanging off the, sh off the roof, like that. A vine with a couple of pumpkins. They do actually grow in the air if you let them. Maybe something like that. All right, maybe that's it. Maybe that'll be the final thing, but I do got to change the way the door swings open because unfortunately the 
tree comes this way and you won't, probably won't stuff on this side, you don't want it on the other side with the tree going away from it. I think you want the tree to come over the top of the toilet. Got the swing. <laughs> I feel like a kid playing around. <laughs> I feel like a kid playing around with toys and Lego and stuff again, you know? Trying to imagine stuff going on. A bit of a circus happening. Um, oh, another thing I was thinking before I'm finished here is I was thinking I've got a couple of uh, wood bells here. Okay, is that one big enough? I feel like maybe not. We'll get another one. I've got another one. Just bear with me guys, a bit of mucking around here. Alright, I've got this big one here. Alright, well, let's do that. Okay guys, well, there you go. Got it all done. Bring in for a bit of a close up of everything. So we got a wood slab there. <clears throat> Ended up changing the wood slab because the other one actually was on a cut on an angle, so I don't know if I can ever use that. And it was actually fatter that side, and then it made the tree stand up more, which might be alright, but it looked a bit funny. This one's actually on an angle that way, but ah, is what it is. We got the Sylvanians in a couch down there chilling out. Couple of rabbits there, three rabbits. Bloody little rabbits. Got a fair bit of moss done here. All different colours, tried to get as many different colours as I could. Got the rock fern at the back there. Got this Sylvanian in a swing up here. Tied to the tree with a little budgie hiding up there. You can see the actual tree, all the lichen all over it. Looking pretty cool. And all the bark that's starting to peel off and strip. And even getting up into the tree now, you're starting to get some good bark. And then up the top, we can see how it's quite smooth. And then as you come down, you get into this rough stuff and it's flaking off lichen all over it and I'm liking the lichen <laughs> and here's the toilet swap the door over have a look inside hey what are you doing in there mate hey you're on the toilet are you washing your hands you finished I hope you flush boy Hope you didn't make a mess on that toilet seat that you got to clean off. Jesus, boy. Right, pretty cool. There you go. Go from that side. Yeah, so that might be something like what it's going to look like. I can change things around. Um and not quite have exactly that display but we'll see what happens let me know what you guys think i'm actually in the process of making absolute mess on the ground glue guns all sorts of stuff process of making a little shed but it's turned out to be quite big not sure whether that can fit anything or not i think it's too big for that display could be obsolete There you go. On a bit of wood. Outdoor dunning. Tree pretty well done. Let's have a bit of a walk around it. So what you guys think.
there you go bit of fun see what happens see what it ends up looking like in the show but there you go cheers guys thanks for watching Aussie Bonsai bloke been a long one if you fast forwarded I won't hold it against you and I promise not to put ads in the mid roll cheers guys thanks for watching